Well, here on WISN 12 News this morning, we love space. We have someone who knows so much about space here to educate us this morning. Welcome to Brian Ewinson, the Executive Director of Spaceport Sheboygan. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Glad when to be here. The inner so kid cool. in me is just like oh, going nuts right now. We're all buzzing back here. Yes. Uh, so first of all, tell us about the event that's happening. You get to meet a space celebrity coming up. Uh, on Saturday, April 8th, we actually have a uh, Wisconsin astronaut, Colonel Jeff Williams, coming to Spaceport Sheboygan. He'll be doing two public presentations. Uh, right now, he actually holds the all-time cumulative record of 534 days in space for any wow. American. And Colonel Williams is from Winter, Wisconsin, oh, aptly titled, a population 200, right? Uh, about 255. Yeah. So he goes from a, a town of 200 to literally outer space. So kids, you can go anywhere if you put your mind to it. And yeah. of course, uh, you've brought some stuff that the kids or the inner kids and all of us enjoy. You got space stuff here. Absolutely, and yeah. Food. So what you got? Uh, I was lucky enough to spend 20 years with NASA training astronauts, and they're wow. just actually big kids. Uh, one of the things that everyone wants to know about, basically, is the astronaut food. And uh, when we actually take we a look at the astronaut here. food. And let's take uh, it, and good. We'll, we'll kind of put it back down here. Back yep, here. There we go. It's actually good for seven years on the package. We can't use a microwave because it interferes with our sure. computers. Uh -huh. And everything's uh, velcro so we, in. So we actually uh, put about 100 milliliters of hot water in there, let okay. it float for three to five minutes, and then you have yourself a meal. What is this stuff? Uh, yeah. This here is potatoes with cheese, or potatoes, potatoes au gratin. Scrumptious. Uh, we also have Italian vegetables. And you were, just had a story about coffee. We oh, definitely yeah. need in space our coffee go. in now, space to keep our brains going this really well. Reminds me of what an MRE is like for the military. Mm -hmm. Is this similar? Uh, very similar, but the astronauts have a huge problem with actually calcium loss and bone density loss, so mm -hmm. they have a higher tendency towards kidney stones. So you oh. don't want to pass one on Earth. You definitely don't want to pass one in oh, space. Probably not any uh, easier. Not any easier. So they're actually very, very low sodium to help keep the astronauts That's corn right safe there. in space. Corn. Wow. Now, tell us about these gloves here. Uh, Jeff Williams has been lucky enough to actually do a number of EVAs, spacewalks. He's actually spent over 36 hours out on this outside of the space station and the space wow. shuttle. So we actually have two gloves. The first inner glove you actually wear is like a garden glove, and it has all these cords that sort of look like shoelaces, <laughs> and they serve the same purpose. If you want to have a tight fit, you pull down and tie okay. it off. If you want to have a loose fit and better dexterity, then you tie it that way. Well, where can well. people get more information about uh, the event coming up in April? Uh, you can actually go to our website, mm -hmm. uh, www.spaceportshibuigan.com. Mm -hmm. We also have a Facebook site. And it is open to the public, two presentations. You get to meet a true Wisconsin hero who has spent 534 days in space out there on the edge Very of the frontier. Cool. Brian, thank you for joining us. And all that information is on our website, WISN.com. Mm -hmm.